on one of the last times I went to Disneyland. It was raining cats and Plutos. Luckily, I stopped at Marshall's first and I got myself an umbrella for $10. The company was totes. Now I've seen these umbrellas before. They're bubble umbrellas, they're clear, and they kind of come down to about right here when you're holding it, which I thought would be perfect because then I can still see through my umbrella, enjoy the park, and also keep everything up here pretty much dry as, as well as my backpack to an extent. And for reference, this is the $10 umbrella that I bought at Marshall's. It's clear and it's pretty big. You can't compress it down though, so. Mm. Well, they love the video so much. And with San Diego receiving a ton of rain lately, they wanted to send me some more rain gear so I could show you. So what I'm hoping is in here is going to be really helpful for those rainy days. For me personally, I have really wide feet, so finding rain boots that are actually comfortable is pretty much non-existent. Hopefully that changes today. But product number one is their famous clear umbrella, but it's the compact version. So it isn't one of the bubble umbrellas, so it won't come down as far. However, it's still clear, which will allow you to actually see and enjoy your surroundings. And it's compact, so it can actually fit in your purse and stuff, or in your luggage if you want to go somewhere cool. Oof, there it is. So it's one of their ponchos. I'm not paying for a poncho at a Disneyland park, no matter how desperate I am. And this is only $48 and you can take it anywhere. Why wouldn't you want this? Now for the big bucks. Honestly, that poncho is gonna come in real handy. All right, so these are the ones I'm most excited to try because like I said, I have wide feet, so rain boots and me don't really have a good relationship. These are size nine and I am a size eight, eight, eight and a half. Okay, so they're not bad. Because I wanna size up, there's definitely plenty of room and I'm definitely the type of person that on cold days, I wanna wear multiple pairs of socks because I don't want to freeze. But also in situations like this, because I have wide feet that usually affects one or the other side of my foot, I like that little extra bit of cushioning without squishing my feet. So these are definitely a win and I do love that they're ankle boots so I don't have to commit to like the super long boots that might not go with all my outfits. Because looking fashionable in the rain is obviously a must. We're all about sound effects here. Getting Princess Leia vibes. Getting Princess Leia vibes. I never said this was a good production. So these are obviously their winter boots. Now I get it, San Diego doesn't get super cold. Okay, but for someone who's lived here their entire life in the 40s or even in the 50s is cold, okay? Not to mention because we've had a lot of rain, a lot of the mountains have a ton of snow. Plus I go to Park City sometimes, so these are definitely going to be helpful. <laughs> Okay, these are also size nine. Okay, they are a little more narrow. It does feel like my feet have less room in these than they did in the rain boots. But they are still pretty comfy and the small constriction that I am feeling on my foot is not painful. It's just like the inner lining, so it's kind of fuzzy and comfortable. It's almost like I was wearing two socks anyway. Since I do wear multiple or like thicker socks, for places that actually do have snow, I'm concerned that if I were to wear those thicker socks, that this would get uncomfortable. Cause I mean, these socks aren't exactly like super thick, but they're not super thin either. Not saying they won't do the job because they do have that really comfy lining on the inside. So who's to say I would even need thick socks? They might just be warm on their own. But these would be really nice to wear if it was raining too. Last box. kind of goes along with what I was saying with the ankle rain boots. I wasn't really a big fan of the tall rain boots just because it would always hurt my feet to wear them, but also they were just so difficult to get into those boots sometimes. Maybe it was just me. Maybe I was on the struggle bus alone. It's fine. But what I loved about these is I normally wear pretty tall boots when I go to places that snow, but also a girl just needs a taller pair of boots. That's a fashion staple right there. 
All right, so these zip down, they open up a little bit more for your legs, so you don't have to just like cram your foot in there, which is especially helpful for situations if you want to put like a foot warmer in here. You don't have to like try your best to not crinkle it to one part of the boot. So this will make it easier to put that foot warmer in and then get your foot in and have it all stay in place. I'm speaking from personal experience that it was always kind of a hassle. These are also a size nine. Okay, these ones are kind of odd because the structure of the boot kind of stops right here, but my heel doesn't feel fully supported by it. So it kind of feels like if I was walking right now, that it would almost be like I'm wearing slip-on shoes because none of this feels like it's truly held by anything. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing yet. Yeah, it's kind of weird having structure right here and then all of this kind of really loose. I'm not sure how these would feel on a full day of walking because, yeah, I don't know. I'll have to come back and do another video to review a use after these and then the white boots for sure. For now though, they're very cozy. Um, I do feel like they have more room than the white boots did, but definitely not as much room as the, the black ankle boots did. So in terms of how much room I had in each foot, these held the most room for me with these being second and these being third. Which again, with me and my white feet, I have hereditary bunions, thank you mom, is very helpful for me to have that wider uh, part of the foot right here. So I will definitely link all of these in the description for you and be on the lookout for other videos for how these actually hold up. Bye.